So the first question for you guys is what are the various method in Python to verify the existence of a file? Okay. So let's say I have a file. Uh, we can take any example. Let's say I have this file, etc, post file. Okay. Any file we can take. And I want to check using Python to see if this file exists or not. Okay. Uh, I know this is a pretty basic question. Let's start with all these basic questions and I will see if, I mean, this is too basic for you guys. We can skip these questions and uh, jump directly to some of the practical example, which I want to share it with you guys. Okay. So my question for you guys, okay. Let's forget about the Python for the time being. Uh, how can you check in case of Linux if the file exists or not? Okay, so I just want to see if this file exists or not, etc host or any file in the system. Okay, I can simply do etc host, right? Right, I can just check if this file exists or not, or if this is non existing file. It will say no file or directory. Last week we have learned about shell, right? And in shell, we can check it with the help of this syntax, right? Default exists. Yeah, if it's a file, we can check it like this. Absolutely correct, David. So say, similarly, like the way you have said, if that is specifically for file, we can also see if this exists or not, right? Similarly, if it's a, like the way David has said, if it's a directory, we can do it via iPhone D, right? All these things are fine. Okay. Now let's get back to the like the topic for today, which is Python. So anyone know in case of Python, if I need to see, or if I need to check if the file exists or not, how, how can I check it? And again, I'm saying, I know it's a pretty basic question, but it's an important one. And uh, the interviewer may ask you this kind of a question or not even for the interview in your uh, your day-to-day -day work, you may have encountered these kind of a thing where you, for example, depending upon the file, you are going to perform some activity. So how can I check if the file exists or not in case of Python? So guys, I wrote some code over here. Okay. Anyone know how to interpret this code or what exactly I'm doing it over here? Anyone has idea about this one? Okay. Okay. So again, let's forget about this code. Okay. Let's go to Python interpreter. Okay. Right now, I, I, I think some of you know, this is the way we can go to the Python interpreter, right? Okay. And if I say print hello, or sorry, not hell, at least hello. Okay. This is fine, right? But let's say I forget to add this. Okay. Now Python will wait for me that if I added this one, so I need to provide this one. Okay. Let's try like this. I forget to add this quote at the end. Python throws me something called syntax error because the syntax is not correct. Python is expecting this quote end at over here. Okay, so I got this syntax error. Okay. Because I haven't closed this code. Let's take a pretty simple example. Four divided by two. We all know it's going to be two, two dot O. Okay. Let's say four divided by zero, which we know mathematically is not possible. So we got something called zero division error. Okay. Anyone know like what exactly I'm trying to come out of this one? Like what exactly I'm trying to prove over here? Like one place we got syntax error, right? Other place we got zero division error. Okay. So what I showed you guys here 
in that code is called something called a handling of exception. Okay, so exception means apart from here, exception means some kind of an error. And as soon as your Python script encountered that error, it terminates. So you have seen here, as soon as it encountered this error where the where I forget to close the codes, it terminates the session. Okay. And there are two types of error handling in case of Python or in any language. One is called syntax error. This is like a human defined error. Like I mean the human, I mean, as a human. We committed some mistake. I forget to close this code, and that's why I'm seeing this error. The second one is called zero division error. Zero division error means there is nothing wrong with the syntax, right? The syntax wise, this is perfectly fine, but this is mathematically not possible. And that's what we can catch or, or handle it. Okay, you are getting my point. So Synthetically, if you are doing committing some mistake, those things you cannot catch. But if you are doing something like this, for example, zero division error, that I can catch in this try except block. There's one more thing called finally, but let's try to understand this one again. So what I'm trying to say, try, try to open this file. Okay. If this file exists, perfectly fine. Okay, if this file exists, actually, I the way we used to do it as a file handler. So if this file exists, it's perfectly fine. Otherwise, don't terminate my program. Whatever the exception is, print that exception. Okay. I can show you here. It says file exists. Okay, in case if I do start with some of the dummy file. And if I try to execute this program, do you guys understand what I'm trying to come out from here? Any questions so far? Or I can simply write this try. I don't want to catch any exception. I think I'm. So I can simply say like this. Oh man, okay. So rather than throwing that big exception, which we are, which we saw earlier, like this, like right? zero division error, it print me like this. Okay. So again, coming back to the main topic, we have two kinds of exception or error. One is called syntax error, and second one is called zero division error. And our main aim is to handle the second type of exception, which is a zero division error. And these type of these type of exception they are called. Anyone know what they these are called? So one is called syntax error. Second one is called runtime error. Runtime error. And that's what we are going to handle in case of Python, the runtime error. Syntax means you are doing some kind of a syntactical mistake. But runtime error, we can handle it with the help of something called this try except block. Okay. So again, the question that I have asked you is to see if the file exists. If it is just printed, if not, you can print this error. Okay. So this is one way. Anyone know what are the other ways in Python we can check if the file exists or not? So like the way I have showed you earlier that in case of shell, we have this hyphen E to see if the file exists or hyphen D to check a directory. I th and we have something called hyphen R to check if it's readable or not. So do you guys think we have something similar in case of Python to see if a file or a directory exists or not? Let me start from here. So as a DevOps guy or anyone 
if you are dealing with Python, there is one module which you are going to use heavily, and that module is called OS. OS is a module which helps you to interact with the operating system. Okay. And anyone who uses Python, you probably heard of this DIR, which is going to tell you all the methods which is supported by this OS module, right? So if you go here, I mean, this OS is a huge module and it takes an hour and hour to, if you go through all these things, right? So in case of OS, there's something called os.path. And let me show you what are the methods which is supported by this os.path. And if you go through all these things, all the method, there's something called os.path is file, is link, soft link, is mount point exists. And yes, see, exists. So last time, the way we have done in case of a shell, we can do similarly in case of Python also. We can say, see, host, right? So if the path exists, it is going to tell you a true. If it is not, it is going to throw as a false. Okay. Similarly, we can check for any other file, for example, resolve.conf. Okay. So similarly, you can check if it's a directory. So is DIR. So rather than is DIR false. But if I can check it for let's see, it's going to be true. So in this way, I mean, similarly, the way we are using the test or this double bracket notation in case of uh, shell. Where is that? And I've lost that one. Where did I run that? Okay, I don't know where I have ran that one. Where is that con? Yeah, this one. So similarly, in I mean, the way we have run it in case of a shell, the same way using this OS module, we can check if the file or a directory exists in case of Python. Okay, you can check off all the other thing. For example, this exists is a pretty important one, which we have checked is file similar to hyphen e the way we have checked it or hyphen f we have checked it in case of a uh, shell is dir similar thing right now anyone know is there any other method or a module through which i can check in case of python if the file or directory exists or not i mean we have checked it via like try to open a file throws an exception and all those things. We have checked it by the OS module. Any other way we can check it uh, if the file or directory exists or not. Or is, is a link, is a mount point, all those things. Okay. So starting from Python 3.4, there's a new module which came out, it's called Pathlib. And from path lib, there's something called path. So just to tell you guys, I mean, OS is a general purpose module. Using OS, you can do a lot and lot of things. But path lib is something which is specifically designed for checking these paths. Okay. So using path lib, I can say if path, okay, same thing, etc host. Or I don't even need to do if and all these conditions. Let's start with something similar, simple. And it has a method called exists. And if the file exists, it will show throw true. So the way we used to handle these kind of a thing is like I can say return code is equal to this. I can put this as a return code here. And if return code is equal to equal to zero, I can, 
I can, I mean, handle my situation in, I mean, based on the return code, I am going to follow these particular steps. If the return code is non-zero, then I am going to do a certain other kind of a set, similar to condition statement. Okay. So starting from, like I mentioned, Python 3.4, this is the recommended way. And even for some of my new script, I'm using this path lib module, but before that I, I was relying on this OS module, but pathlib is a recommended way starting from 3.4. So that's the gist of it. Any questions so far, because this is, I know it's pretty basic, like this exception handling, but this is really important because this is a kind of a question which you, um, I mean, interviewer will ask you during the interview or you will encounter it in your, in your day to day life. Like how to check if the file or a path, if a file or a directory exists, or I mean, if, if it's a directory or not, so all these things, you're going to encounter it. 